Hello and welcome to our video on China's $2 billion crib I deep seaport, which is Cameroon's major infrastructure project. In this video, we will discuss the background, construction, benefits, and concerns surrounding the port. Firstly, let's discuss the background of the project. In 2010, Cameroon and China signed a $1.5 billion deal to build the crib I deep seaport. The construction started in 2011 and was completed in 2018. The project was led by the China Harbor Engineering Company, which is a subsidiary of China Communications Construction Company. The Kribai Deep Seaport is located in the southern part of Cameroon, near the city of Kribai. It is the largest port in the country and has a capacity of 1.2 million 20-foot equivalent units per year. The port also has a 700-meter long key that can accommodate two vessels of 100,000 deadweight tonnages at the same time. Now, let's move on to the construction of the port. The Kribai Deep Seaport was built on a 26,000 hectare site, which included a container terminal, a multipurpose terminal, and a mineral terminal. The construction of the port involved dredging, building a breakwater, constructing the quay, and installing container handling equipment. The port also has a rail terminal that connects it to the capital city of Yeon. Moving on, let's discuss the benefits of the port. The Kribai Deep Seaport has brought significant economic benefits to Cameroon. It has created employment opportunities and improved the country's trade capacity. The port has also made it easier and more cost-effective for businesses to import and export goods. Additionally, the port has the potential to become a major hub for Central Africa, as it is strategically located along the Gulf of Guinea. However, there are also concerns surrounding the port. Some experts have raised concerns about the environmental impact of the port. The construction of the port involved dredging, which can have negative effects on marine ecosystems. Additionally, there are concerns about the potential for corruption and debt issues related to the project. One of the major benefits of the port is its potential to boost trade in Cameroon and the wider Central African region. Before the construction of the Kribai Deep Seaport, most of the country's imports and exports were handled through the port of Douala, which was often congested and had limited capacity. The Kribai Deep Seaport has expanded the country's trade capacity and reduced the cost of importing and exporting goods. The port's location along the Gulf of Guinea also makes it well positioned to serve as a hub for trade in Central Africa. Another potential benefit of the port is its potential to drive economic growth and development in Cameroon. The construction of the port has created jobs and provided opportunities for local businesses to grow. The port has also attracted foreign investment, which could help to spur further economic development in the country. However, there are also concerns about the potential negative impacts of the port. One major concern is the environmental impact of the port's construction and operation. Dredging, which was necessary to create the port, can cause significant damage to marine ecosystems by disrupting sediment flows, reducing water quality, and harming marine life. Additionally, the operation of the port and associated transportation infrastructure could increase carbon emissions and contribute to climate change. Another concern is the potential for corruption and debt issues related to the project. Some experts have raised concerns about the terms of the loan used to finance the project, which was provided by China's Exim Bank. There are concerns that the loan could result in unsustainable levels of debt for Cameroon, which could have negative economic and political consequences. Additionally, there are concerns about the potential for corruption in the management of the project, as well as in the awarding of contracts related to the port. Despite these concerns, the Kribai Deep Seaport remains an important project for Cameroon and the wider Central African region. As the port continues to develop and grow, it will be important to monitor its impacts and ensure that its benefits are maximized while its negative impacts are minimized. Certainly, let's talk a bit more about the geopolitical implications of the Kribai Deep Seaport. The port is a part of China's larger Belt and Road Initiative, which is a massive infrastructure development project aimed at boosting trade and economic integration across Asia, Europe, and Africa. Through the Bri, China has been investing heavily in infrastructure projects across the African continent, including in countries like Ethiopia, Kenya, and Nigeria. The Kribai Deep Seaport is a key part of China's plans to expand its presence in West and Central Africa. The port's location along the Gulf of Guinea makes it a strategically important hub for trade in the region, and it could potentially serve as a gateway to markets in Central Africa and beyond. The port's construction and operation by a Chinese company also highlight the growing economic and political ties between China and Africa. However, the port's ties to China have also raised concerns among some analysts and policymakers. Some worry that China's investment in African infrastructure projects could lead to a new form of debt trap diplomacy in which African countries become heavily indebted to China and are left with few options for repayment. There are also concerns about the potential for China to use its investments in African infrastructure to expand its political influence on the continent. The port was built by the China Harbor Engineering Company, a subsidiary of the China Communications Construction Company. It was constructed over a period of four years and officially opened in March 2018. 
The project involved the dredging of a 16-meter deep access channel and turning basin, as well as the construction of a 700-meter long key and a container terminal with a capacity of 1.2 million 20-foot equivalent units per year. The port is designed to accommodate some of the largest container ships in the world, with a maximum capacity of 8,000 TEUs. It also has the capability to handle bulk and liquid cargo, including oil, gas, and minerals. The port is equipped with state-of-the-art container handling equipment, including gantry cranes and reach stackers, which are designed to efficiently move cargo on and off of ships. One of the unique features of the Kribai Deep Sea Port is its location along the Gulf of Guinea. The port is situated in a region with significant offshore oil, and gas reserves, and it has the potential to become a hub for the export of these resources. Additionally, the port's location along the coast could make it an important gateway for trade between Central Africa and the rest of the world. The construction of the Kribai Deep Sea Port has been a significant infrastructure project for Cameroon and the wider Central African region. It has the potential to boost trade and economic development, as well as to enhance the country's standing as an important transportation hub in the region. However, as with any major infrastructure project, there are also potential risks and concerns that must be addressed, including environmental impacts, debt issues, and geopolitical implications. One of the major economic benefits of the port is its potential to boost trade in Cameroon and the wider Central African region. As we previously discussed, the Kribai Deep Sea Port has expanded the country's trade capacity and reduced the cost of importing and exporting goods. This has the potential to attract more foreign investment to the country and improve economic growth. Additionally, the port's location along the Gulf of Guinea puts it in a strategically important position to serve as a hub for trade in Central Africa. Another potential economic benefit of the Kribai Deep Sea Port is the creation of jobs and opportunities for local businesses. The construction of the port has already created thousands of jobs, and the operation of the port is expected to create even more. Additionally, the port is likely to attract foreign businesses and investors, which could help to spur further economic development in the country. However, there are also economic challenges associated with the port. One major challenge is the potential for the project to create unsustainable levels of debt for Cameroon. The loan used to finance the project, which was provided by China's Exim Bank, is valued at $1.3 billion and must be repaid over a period of 20 years. If Cameroon is unable to generate sufficient revenue from the port to repay the loan, it could lead to a debt crisis that could have serious economic and political consequences for the country. Another potential economic challenge associated with the port is the potential for it to have negative impacts on existing industries in the country. For example, some experts have raised concerns that the port's expansion could harm the local fishing industry industry by disrupting marine ecosystems and reducing fish populations. Additionally, the development of the port and associated transportation infrastructure could lead to the displacement of local communities and have negative social impacts. Overall, the Kribai Deep Sea Port is a significant infrastructure project that has the potential to bring significant economic benefits to Cameroon and the wider Central African region. However, as with any major infrastructure project, it is important to carefully consider the potential risks and challenges associated with the port, and to work to mitigate its negative impacts while maximizing its positive ones. The development of the Kribai Deep Sea Port has been seen by some as part of China's larger strategy to expand its influence in Africa. China has invested heavily in infrastructure projects across the continent in recent years, with the aim of building closer economic and political ties with African countries. In the case of Cameroon, the Chinese investment in the Kribai Deep Sea Port has been seen as a way to strengthen the country's relationship with China and reduce its reliance on traditional trading partners in Europe and the United States. Additionally, the Chinese investment has been seen as a way for China to gain access to Cameroon's significant natural resources, including oil, gas, and minerals. However, the Chinese investment in the port has also raised concerns about the potential for China to exert undue influence on the political and economic development of Cameroon. Some experts have raised concerns that China's investment in the port could lead to an unsustainable level of debt for Cameroon, which could make it more vulnerable to Chinese influence. Additionally, there have been concerns about the potential environmental impacts of the port's development. Some experts have raised concerns about the potential for the dredging and construction associated with the port to damage fragile marine ecosystems and threaten the livelihoods of local fishing communities. Despite these concerns, the development of the Kribai Deep Sea Port has been seen as a significant achievement for Cameroon and a potential driver of economic growth and development. It remains to be seen how the port will impact the country's political, economic, and environmental landscape in the years to come.